Uh, so I just wanted to say thanks everyone for coming. It's so awesome to meet people that I've interacted with uh, in GitHub or just in the community. Uh, it's an awesome way to spend my day, and I'm uh, extremely glad everyone's here to spend their day with us. So I'll be talking about building dynamic apps with Gatsby, but first, a little intro. So my name is Dustin, as some of you may know. Um, uh, I work on the Gatsby core team, the open source product. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, uh, which is kind of a city, and it's not just cornfields and cows. Um, and a fun fact kind of about me is I'm engaged to a triplet, which is that one over there. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's Maggie and I in Oktoberfest. So uh, Kyle tweeted this a while ago, and he said, PSA, Gatsby is not just for sites. It produces static HTML and then rehydrates into a React app. Think of it as an opinionated CRA with built-in SSR and nice integrations with CMSs. Please use Gatsby to build apps. Thanks for listening. Happy Friday. Uh, what, is, what is today? Tuesday? Uh, one day, and uh, happy developing. And so um, I think I'm done here. So uh, thanks for listening to my TED Talk, and I'll, everyone have a good day. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so um, Gatsby excels at creating static sites. It's probably what got you interested in Gatsby. It's definitely what got me interested in Gatsby. And so uh, to begin to kind of understand um, why it's so valuable, I think it's important to understand like why does Gatsby excel at creating static sites. So there's a few reasons. Uh, the first of which is GraphQL at build time. So we've kind of said it you know, pretty frequently that we are using techniques that, and tools that people want to use. GraphQL is certainly one of them. And I think the spin of using GraphQL at build time is like an incredibly um, intuitive, um, more than just a novelty, and like, it's like a really great way to build your applications. Um, so yeah, I think GraphQL at build time is excellent. Um, smart optimized defaults, so things like the, the purple pattern, route-based code splitting, um, Gatsby image, Gatsby, Gatsby link, all of these things we've been talking about, these are internalized so that you can build really fast apps just by using Gatsby and not necessarily having to know or, in, uh, or internalize all of these you know, excellent techniques that you should be using. So Jason said it really well you know, like a long time ago, aka earlier this morning. Um, Gatsby is a shortcut to allow developers to quickly build excellent apps and sites. And I think this is very much part of the appeal of Gatsby, that you don't have to know all of these great performance optimizations. Just use Gatsby, uh, and it'll be a shortcut for you to build like, a really great experience that, you, that your users love. Um, static asset uh, generation. So this is one of the key things that got me into Gatsby, and I think that gets everyone else into Gatsby, is why um, is let's turn this JSX, this React code, into HTML and not offload that to the user to eventually produce HTML. Let's produce HTML <coughs> at build time. So of course, a uh, classic example, this is a hello world of React in Gatsby. So we're uh, rendering an H1. And what our user sees is something like this, an H1 uh, and some other uh, HTML content. And so the idea here is that with Gatsby, um, you want to render uh, static as much as possible. And to me, this is the key feature of Gatsby. And this is like, what really draws me and I think uh, delivers like, engaging, fast, uh, excellent experiences that, that, your, that your users will love. So the kind of refrain here is that Gatsby not only can be used for you know, quote unquote dynamic apps, Gatsby is an excellent choice for dynamic apps. And part of it is because of this like, uh, great performance uh, optimized uh, variant it gives you with this, uh, with this approach of static HTML, of um, route-based code splitting, of all these sections we've been talking about. Uh, this space is a great one to build upon with dynamic apps. So um, I haven't really said much about how to actually build apps with Gatsby. So let me show you a demo to kind of like bring some of these concepts home. So, um, just in case the demo doesn't work because I'm using a hotspot with actual slow 3G, so I don't need to profile it, I'll just use my laptop. Um, so, uh, so this is Gatsby Mail, and so we're not pivoting into the mail industry, this is just something we kind of did for fun to show that you can build like very real, very um, dynamic apps with Gatsby. And so we wanted to build something kind of like Gmail, um, but with a little Gatsby spin to it. So let me try to show this and hope it works. All right, so um, let me on full screen. So this is Gatsby Mail. It is working, um, <laughs> which is excellent. So the first thing I wanted to show is um, this is not a, not really a uh, like real web app yet. This is like a landing page. This is you know what people think of when they think of Gatsby. Uh, and so I run an audit on this with Lighthouse. And we get 100 pretty much across the board. I need to tweak my accessibility, 
but still pretty good experience. You know, fast by default, these are like core values that we really live. But like I said, this isn't anything like earth shattering. This is a regular uh, landing page. Um, so again, static as much as possible, but with Gatsby, you can build fully dynamic web applications. So you can see that slow 3G taking effect. <laughs> There we go, getting closer. Wait for it, wait for it, and here we go. So now we have a Gmail-like experience. This is, this is utilizing a tool called OneGraph. So we're just displaying my list of emails. I can click through. We'll fetch the, the mesh details on demand. Hey, this is my Airbnb. We're very, you're very welcome for booking our apartment. Um, let's go back. You know, you can uh, send, send a message. But I think what I really wanted to show here is that um, with Gatsby and with some of these things that we give you for free, so for instance, like Gatsby plugin offline, the experience of building a web app is oftentimes even better than, for instance, the equivalent server-side rendered variant. So if I actually do um, use Fast3G, which I might not even need to, when I refresh this page, what you can see is that the application shell loads right away. Um, so like the experience feels faster than if we were to load this in all at once. And then in the background, the messages are going to be fetched and your users are going to get that dynamic experience that they expect. So I don't know how I'm doing on time. I can show a teensy bit of code, um, which will be here. So the idea here is that we expose API, uh, APIs that let you um, uh, build uh, a fully functional application just like you'd expect. So what I'm doing here is I'm wrapping my root element in an Apollo client. So I'm using React Apollo here. And so I'm making a connection to OneGraph, which is giving me that Gmail-like experience. Um, and then, uh, so other kind of cool features here is authentication was a use case mentioned really earlier, uh, really early. So this is again using authentication. It's just React. So I'm using things like component did mount. Uh, I'm checking auth status. If they're logged in, I'll you know forward them to the logged in view, um, et cetera, et cetera. So the idea here is that just write React code. Um, Gatsby lets you produce real applications um, that are uh, heavily optimized uh, and, that you're, and, and that your users will love. So this is all open source. Um, check it out if that's uh, your type of thing. And thank you. That's all, folks.